Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing another modification to Baby AGI, which is called Baby Cat AGI. Now, this model is designed to enhance the performance of Baby AGI, which is an artificial general intelligence system. Now, Baby Cat AGI brings several different improvements to the existing system. We see that it provides a higher completion rate in terms of its objectives. You see there's fewer errors. Uh, there's faster performance like modifications and moreover you're able to get the integration of a handcrafted mini agent as a tool further for different enhancements and capabilities of baby cat agi now remarkably while well, all of these advancements are basically under 300 lines of code which is a compact code base and it just shows how like much better this modification of baby cat agi is to the original baby agi now in today's video i'm going to be showcasing this new modification by yohi and i'm going to show you guys how you can actually play around with it on the baby agi ui as well as how you can actually play around with it on ripple now before we actually get into the gist of the video if you guys haven't seen my baby agi ui video i emphasize a little bit more on this new ui and how you can actually install it locally so definitely check this out and it's free on the web so i highly recommend that you play around with it now if you guys haven't seen my previous videos i would highly recommend that you do so guys there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from now if you guys haven't subscribed please do so uh, like this video and please follow me on my new twitter page i'll leave that link in the description below and this is where i'm going to be showing you guys the new latest ai news so with that thought let's get right into the video so one of the most notable improvements offered by baby cat agi is its higher completion rates of objectives now when presented with a task or a goal baby ag baby cat agi sorry exhibits an increased ability to fulfill it successfully now this improvement can be attributed to the enhancements made to the underlying algorithms as well as the decision making and this is something that we've seen of what it's built off of with the original baby agi now through this optimized resource allocation and refined contextual understanding baby cat agi is actually able to equip and it's like equipped to comprehend and execute tasks with improved accuracy and reliability and this is one of the things that they wanted to focus on by making it faster fiercer and feline now another crucial aspect that is addressed by baby cat agi is its reduction of air now this model is designed to minimize mistakes and inaccuracy in its responses or actions now this is by leveraging advanced air detection mechanisms as well as air correlating algorithms now baby AG, cat agi demonstrates a significant reduction of error rates compared to previous iterations to, from like baby agi now you can actually run a comparison of these two models and you will see that there's going to be a reduction in error as well as like you're going to see that baby cat agi is able to run way more faster and you're able to get better accuracy with that modification now this reduction also shows that the errors are not only able to ensure that the, there's a reliability of the system but also enhances the overall user experience and this is one of the great things about baby cat agi and i played around with it a little bit on the actual ui and you can see get a better sense that you're able to get better responses more effectively as well as more efficiently now in addition to these improved completion rates we're able to see that baby cat agi offers a speedier performance through a utilization of gpt4 task now if you see on this ui it utilizes gpt4 now it may be a little bit more expensive but by running gpt4 task creation you're able to reduce the actual computational overhead associated with generating tasks now if you've seen my video on baby agi ui as well as my other previous videos you can see that it constantly keeps working on executing tasks it keeps making different tasks to complete your or overall objective but in this case as it uses gpt4 it reduces the computational overhead by focusing on like the main objectives and it prioritizes those objectives by cutting off the useless tasks that are not needed to complete your overall objective because in the other models you focus on different tasks it created multiple different tasks that in some cases weren't needed to actually create the overall objective in this case chat gpt4 is used to basically cut off the 
useless ones and optimized on the like I, I mean prioritize on the useful ones to get your task completed now this optimization also allows baby cabbage agi to allo allocate more computating resources towards executing these tasks and this is one of the reasons why it runs faster and more effectively and we're going to be showing you guys this on this actual ui you're going to actually need chat gpt4 to do this so make sure you actually have that or otherwise you're not going to be able to run this effectively obviously if you go try to use 3.5 you're not going to be able to use it as it's only usable with gpt4 now another main feature i wanted to talk about is the mini agent as a tool feature now what this is doing is that what they've actually done is that they introduced a handcrafted mini agent as a valuable tool now what this thing does is that it's specifically designed to augment the capabilities of baby cat agi as it serves as a dedicated assistant and what this does what this like basically means is that it supports baby cat agi in different ways that baby agi didn't actually do it before and this is by providing context specific information as well as facilitating decision making processes and with the mini agents assistant you're able to see that baby cat agi can leverage additional resources as well as insights which can improve the performance in different like metrics and you're able to get better responses through this mini agent tool in previous iterations of baby agi systems we see that we have, there's a baby agi like with a p and the task manager was executed during every loop and this is something that you can see on the twitter i'll leave a link for it and what this does is that it causes a significant slowdown with multiple different loops in creating and executing tasks now this slowdown was primary due to like mostly caused due to the requirements of gpt4 for tax task creations now to address this issue what they've done with baby cat agi is that they improved the overall performance and modification by implementing gpt4 use and this adjustment brings several different benefits to the system which we talked about now it improves the speed it also focuses on making sure that the task creation during each loop doesn't like duplicate so that you're optimized and prioritized to create your over or complete the overall objective and these are the two main objectives of what we see with utilization of baby cat agi and through this modification it helps in terms of cost efficiency as well because in the previous models you can see that it constantly loops which creates more usage of the actual tokens and it basically makes it more uh, more or less more expensive compared to what baby cat agi does even though it is using gpt4 but in this case it's more efficient with its usage as it only computes like different tokens for the best use cases now additionally to all these different adjustments we can see that it helps with the rate limits and many services of apis have different rate limits which is something that they emphasize in this tweet now by limiting the use of gpt4 within the task manager we can see that baby agi cat agi can stay within these rate limits more effectively and avoids potential like service disruptions so this is something that i wanted to note as you're able to get better like usage of the actual tokens and you're able to utilize this new application for the best and another thing i wanted to note is that you can actually access the classic baby cat agi code on their github so i'll leave this link in the description below if you want to play around with it and install it locally as you can install it locally using this code and you can get a better idea of how you can play around with it locally on your desktop one thing i wanted to note is its multiple dependencies now similar to the approach using baby agi the memory in this system is stored on a local array as opposed to the vector store like baby agi which uses pinecone now this means that instead of using a vector based storage structure this system of baby cat agi utilizes a local array to store and retrieve information now one of the most notable features of this system is that its capability to handle multiple different dependencies and this is something that yohi emphasized as this means that the task can utilize this result obtained from two separate search operations and perform a third step that involves comparing the results from these searches 
Now this functionality basically enables the system to leverage the output of multiple search operations and it utilizes them to like basically take a step to accomplish more complex steps to the uh, overall objective that you gave it initially. Now, for instance, say you are tasked with finding information on a particular topic on the web. Instead of relying solely on a single web search, the system can perform two distinct searches to retrieve this task. Now, obviously, this might be a little bit more expensive, but these results can then be used by a third step, which can then compare the two inputs by giving you the best outputs of these two searches. Now this comparison could obviously involve identifying similarities, differences, or other types of patterns in these search results, which will give you the best computational results. But the thing to note is that it's doing what baby AGI did initially, but by reducing the overall loops in its task creation, and you're gonna be able to get the best output with a faster and effective results. Now let's actually go on and play around with the actual model. So basically Yoshiki he is one of the actual creators of Baby AGI UI and he basically deployed it on a local like UI form and you can actually access this using Vercel. Uh, in my case I don't actually have ChatGPT4 but if you really want to play around with it you can easily do so by inputting your API key and you can do that in the settings over here. Don't worry guys, I already deleted this API key so you don't need to tell me, but you can access it and input it over here in the API key and you can just select baby cat AGI. You can also play with baby AGI as well as the original baby AGI model. It's kind of confusing comparing these two because basically the same thing, but that's basically it for today's video guys. You can also play around with the replit, but in this case, I think it's easier to use baby AGI UI and it's fairly easy in terms of creating your task there's actually different examples and demos that you can check out uh for example you can check out this demo right here you're able to select baby cat agi there's different tools you can put a prompt right we'll do this right here right a weather report of san francisco today maybe and from this you're able to see that you get a task it defines all the tasks initially it doesn't go in a loop and create more different tasks it just initializes the different tasks all at once and as it completes it you get a check mark as it completes the task and executes it and at the end you're able to get an execution of your original task all the way at the bottom which is quite amazing guys and i highly recommend that you play around with this as this is a new modification to baby agi and it'll be quite useful in a lot of different use cases now overall i definitely see this as a very useful case as a notable evolution of baby agi's original system with a higher completion rate as well as reducing errors and you're able to get a speedier performance in addition to a handcrafted mini agent which can be utilized for a lot of different use cases so i highly recommend that you play around with this guys as it'll be quite useful in different use cases and if you guys haven't followed my new twitter account i highly recommend that you do so guys because i'm going to be posting constantly over here with new news as well as future uploads and if you guys haven't subscribed please do so like this video comment anything you want to see and if you guys haven't seen my previous videos definitely do so and with that thought thank you so much for watching have a great smile today spread positivity and i'll catch you soon guys peace out fellas